Sambo, Russian Sambo, pronounced Samba, is a martial art with Soviet origins, an internationally practiced combat sport, and a recognized style of amateur wrestling included by UWW in the World Wrestling Championships along with Greco-Roman wrestling and freestyle wrestling. It originated in the Russian SFSR in the Soviet Union. The word Sambo is an acronym of Samozashchita Bez Oruzhia, Russian Samozashchita Bez Oruzhia, which literally translates to self-defense without weapons. Sambo is a martial art and combat sport developed and used by the Soviet Red Army in the early 1920s to improve their hand-to-hand -hand combat abilities. The sport is similar in many ways to Judo and Jiu-Jitsu, but also incorporates different types of wrestling and various self-defense systems. Soviet martial arts expert Vasily Oshchepkov is credited as one of the founding fathers of Sambo. Born into a family of exiles in 1893, Oshchepkov also played a key role in introducing judo into the Soviet Union. An intelligence officer during both Tsarist and Soviet periods, he was educated in Japan and later returned there to work in the 1920s. He studied at the Kodokan Judo Institute in Tokyo, founded by Jigoro Kano, and eventually became the first Russian to receive a second dan in the sport. This led to him developing the Sambo self-defense techniques, which were developed and utilized by the Soviet Red Army and intelligence services. Oshchepkov, despite his important legacy, ultimately died in prison aged just 45 as a result of the Stalinist political purges of 1937 after accusations of being a Japanese spy. He was posthumously rehabilitated and cleared of wrongdoing in 1957. Viktor Spiridonov and Anatoly Karlampiev, a student of Oshchepkov, are also considered pioneers of Sambo. Spiridonov and Oshchepkov independently developed two different styles, which eventually cross-pollinated and became what is known as Sambo. Origins Sambo is relatively modern since its development began in the early 1920s by the Soviet NKVD and Red Army to improve hand-to-hand -hand combat abilities of their servicemen. It was intended to merge the most effective techniques of other martial arts. The pioneers of Sambo were Viktor Spiridonov and Vasily Oshchepkov. Oshchepkov spent several years living in Japan and training in Judo under its founder Kano Yigoro. Oshchepkov died in prison as a result of the Great Purge after being accused of being a Japanese spy and judo was banned in the USSR for decades until the 1964 Olympics where Sambists won four bronze medals. Spiridonov and Oshchepkov independently developed two different styles, which eventually cross-pollinated and became what is known as Sambo. Compared to Oshchepkov's system, called free wrestling in Russia, Spiridonov's style was softer and less brutal. It was also less strength-dependent, which in large part was due to injuries Spiridonov sustained during World War I. Anatoly Karlampiev, a student of Vasily Oshchepkov, is also considered a founder of Sambo. In 1938, it was recognized as an official sport by the USSR All-Union Sports Committee. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the next video you want to see.